All right, guys, we're back in Lumpy. Cheers, just got the thing fresh off the dyno after its final tune. It's been run in, it's gone through its cycles with the old 98 fuel, and now it's got E85. And uh, Cheers tuned it to the whopping power of 846 kilopascals. <laughs> hey, mate, uh, no, it's got about 600 horse torques. Yeah, no, made 400 kilowatts. I'm on 31 PSI. Whew. That was an With intense turbo. Oh. I think it was like a 56, 56 or something like that. Can you believe it, guys? Cheers. A, a little sort of stock frame turbo. Yeah, right. Yeah. Cheers, giving out the secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, they can't come up with it on already, so. Yep. Uh, we uh, just did a fresh engine. Yeah, and changed the transmission. So this new Katoo. I get it wrong every time. You're a f***ing, like, typical Aussie, eh? <laughs> Anything ethnic or not Australian <laughs> struggles. Well, if it was Vegemite, it would be sweet, wouldn't it? Uh, I, I don't want to sort of offend the other Australians, but, man. No, don't, you won't offend them. Yeah. You, you're hanging crap on me. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. I'm, I'm actually surprised you can say, cheer. <laughs> Oh, actually, it's because you eat the <laughs> the seed. Yeah, I'm called the bird seed neither. No, bird seeding, bird seed eating motherfucker at work. Wow. Yeah. So what brand is it then? It's actually, I'm not actually <laughs> sure how to pronounce it myself, but I uh, I read it as Katuk. Katuk. Yeah. But not the one from Bali. Yeah, you remember the, yeah. what was Kut his name? Katut. Katut, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is from Czech, Czech Republic. Czech Republic. Yeah. And it's a six speed sequential. Yeah. Direct bolt into the Evo. Yeah. So obviously when Powertune do the installs on these gearboxes, uh, Chi always makes sure that it looks factory, or as factory as possible. Yeah, that's yeah. what this is trying to achieve. Sometimes, obviously, some gearboxes and gear sticks, you don't have the, um, or we don't make the boots and stuff. Yeah. It has to be done elsewhere. But this has come up. Yeah. And okay. That, I mean. And that's obviously the reverse lockout. Yeah. So, thing there. so yeah. it's not like a massive clunky thing that's on most of the, yeah, most of yeah. the shifters, eh? Yeah. yeah Carbon I, features yeah. everywhere. Yeah. It's good. There, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You noticed it? Yeah. And brake. Carbon fiber. Carbon yeah, fiber. Yeah, Carbon yeah. fiber. Yeah, yeah. Carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> Carbon fiber. <Yeah. laughs> so where are we heading? Uh, we're gonna get a. Uh, I got a test track at in Mexico. Mexico. So it's the safest place. How do we get there? Uh, it's today's technology. It's called teleportation. <laughs> Are you ready? All right, let's ready? go. Whoa, Jesus. They haven't Jesus. got kangaroos here. <laughs> Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to test Chia's uh, flat shifting tune on the car. So it's got cable throttle, as you guys know. Uh, it doesn't have electronic throttle. So it's only got the auto upshift. Sorry, not auto upshift. Clutchless. Oh, yeah, uh, it's cartel, cartel here. Is. Yeah. Cartel's here. That does, yeah. So yeah. one thing Chia did pick up with this gearbox, because this is the first one we've ever done mm -hmm. of this brand, is, um, well, I'll let you explain it. The way the gear shift feels. Yep. It feels really nice, um, I guess, direct. So a short throw. It's actually quite, uh, it's quiet as it engages the next gear as well, which is uh, sort of surprised. Because it is, Normally. it is quite noisy, like because it's obviously a straight cut gearbox, but the the gear changing is quiet. Yeah, that's right. As it flicks the next gear and obviously applies the power onto the dog, it normally has a like a different feel to it, and yep. a different sound. This one seems to be a lot less. Um, I guess that noise or that. So it's a good thing. Yeah, I, I feel anyway from my driver's side. It's actually real nice. Chin tucked. Chin tucked, you ready? Chin tucked. Oh! <laughs> Should have got him! <laughs> oh, I didn't even think! Here we go. <laughs> See, now 
guys have? Did you feel the difference? Um, I was a little bit sidetracked for a minute <laughs> trying to keep my chins away, but um, you can hear it. Like it doesn't have that big clunky. No, it's got a it's got a fighter jet sound to it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a it's not like a whine. It's more of like a half a whistle. Yeah, it's, like, it's very very. But as it unloads the dog, obviously, to, to click the next gear, yeah, I can feel that that the like the the shift movement is very minimal. But even when and then when it applies power to obviously drive, and then the dog is engaged again, it doesn't have that that sound that obviously that clunk. Yeah, the clunk of it, it actually coming together again. You notice? Right. Yeah, yeah, I it, do. It feels, I do now you say it. It feels like a, it feels like a converter or an SST, a dual clutch yeah, car. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I like aggressive cheer. That scared the <laughs> shit out of me. <laughs> Try it again. Holy crap! Travelled back, guys. Yeah. Right, so we're back in um, Australia now. So, what do you rate the gearbox out of ten? Cheer, drivability, so, and noise. Noise. I know, it's a it's a straight cut gearbox, so it, yeah, it's it's expected. Um, I'll, I'd give it uh, ten being good and and one being shit. Is that what you're saying? Yep. I, 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 I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven. Yeah. It's pretty average. Like it's normal, I think. Anyway, yeah. yeah. To a straight car. And drivability. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> if the driver can drive well, it's it's a it'd be probably a seven or a eight as well. Yeah, yeah. It's very nice. Overall, I'm, I'm happy, and I'm, I'll be happy to sort of recommend it to customers for sure. Yep. So do you do you stock them now? Yeah. Yep. We've got a few in the stock now. And they're just for Evo? Yeah, so yep. Evo 4 to 9. Yep. So this car is now all ready for the customer? Uh, tidy up a few little things? Yeah, that's right. I'll go back to the shop, just tidy up a couple of things on the, on the tables. Yep. Um, and then set up a few warnings. Um, and then I think the guy's got to check over mechanically a few things. So after every road test, obviously, that's, you got to run your eyes over everything again. Yep. And it's done. Cool, another one down. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Right, and uh, we'll be back on the next one. See you. Yeah.